What's up, YouTube? This is Scott Lett. I'm the owner and operator of Pro Exterior Cleaning. Just moved here um, to Tulsa from Alabama, where I owned another power washing company. And I took the same business model and brought it to Tulsa and started another business. So um, this channel is for uh, my power washing people uh, or someone who's looking to make a little extra money someone who's trying to start their own business and make it full time um, because I've done both of those things and um, so today I just want to help you um, and kind of tell you how I did it and because starting a business as we all know is not easy so um, and I feel like the biggest barrier with starting a business or with people who decide hey I'm not going to do this um, I know this is a huge barrier for me, and that barrier, as we can probably all agree, is fear. fear. Fear of failure, fear of losing money, fear of just all these things that could go wrong. And you're absolutely right. It's part of it. Um, no business out there um, was easy to start. I mean, there's a lot of steps. A lot of licensing, marketing, accounting, the actual work, maintenance, management, time, scheduling, you name it. When you are the CEO and the owner of a company, there's a lot, okay? And so my company here in Tulsa, it's just me. So I do all those things. But guess what? I don't sit at a desk from 8 to 5. I don't have someone telling me what to do. I don't have someone telling me my value and how much I'm worth. I get to determine that. So I work for a very reputable company in Alabama, Alabama Power. Um, and I love the career. It was a good career. Um, great benefits. But it was with a golden cuff type thing. Like you are you kind of, are kind of held down there and you just wait your turn. I mean, it could be 15 years before... Um, you get that job you want. And after about three or four years of waiting, waiting, and waiting, I started this little handyman business on the side. And before I knew it, it transformed and organically became a power washing business. And I had a little 2,800 PSI pressure washer, um, made a little money, went to Walmart or where did I go? Home Depot, bought a little bit better one and and I found a gold mine in my neighborhood. And uh, I got to work, started making some really good money on the side. And um, as that was going on, um, one of my buddies, I kind of helped him get started um, with his power washing business, kind of did what I did. And then before we knew it, we were working together and we started a company together called Iron City Power Washing. And um, we both just went out of our comfort zone took a huge step of faith, and man, it was a great decision. So t today, and the reason I'm creating this channel, is to help people to step from out of fear into what you really want to do, like whether it's power washing or lawn maintenance or being um, starting your own law firm, whatever it may be. Like There's so many ways you can start your own business. There's so many things that people can do to be their own boss be the CEO. I mean, it's awesome. Um, but the biggest barrier, I believe, um, the reason people don't do this is because they love the comfort of knowing that every two weeks you get a paycheck. Um, they love the, the comfort of having your health um, health care paid for. You have 401k money goes into and hopefully sometimes matched. Um, so that's the golden cuff is like, yeah, you know, I'm not really doing what I want to do. I have to work eight to five, um, deal with traffic every day. Um, you're just putting up with a, a position you really don't want to be in for 40 years. And you're just, just passing time until you retire. And I'll tell y'all that wasn't for me. So, um, so that's one thing is just the comfort of all the benefits. And, but the biggest barrier of them all, in my opinion, is fear. 
Um, the fear of failure, the fear of, hey, man, like, what if I don't make money for a while? What if I lose money? What if all these catastrophic things just happen and we sink and burn? I mean, those are all things that cross my mind as well. But luckily for you power washing people, this is a very low risk startup business. All you need is, like I said, go to go to Home Depot, buy your pressure washer, get you a little surface cleaner, go make a little flyer on um, whatever website you want to use, and get on Facebook, which is a humongous platform for marketing. That is, they make their money, they make their money off advertising. Use it. Um, so, but anyways, back to fear. Fear is the reason people don't take what they really want to do and put it into motion. Okay, they just want to stay in their 8 to 5 and get their benefits, which is fine. If that's your preference, that's okay. But I wanted something different. I realized that if you have a passion, if you have a skill set, and you have a market, those are the three components that make a business. Now, if you have the skill set and a market, but you don't have the passion, I wouldn't recommend starting your own business. If you have the passion and the market, but not the skill set, that's okay. You can work on that. Same with the marketing. You can network, you can build a business, um, you can build relationships, but if you don't have the passion, you're going to be in the same position you were at, at the eight to five job. So, um, so, I mean, the biggest question I get is, man, how did you start a business? And the biggest thing is overcoming that fear, um, realizing that I have a skill set, that I have a passion, that I have a market, and then I casted a vision, and I dreamed big. And then once I took care of all that, which takes time, um, you come up with steps to how to make this dream a reality. Um, so luckily with power washing, like I said, it's a low risk business. All you pay for is gas and a machine and maybe some flyers. So um, I know a lot of people who start businesses have to go out and take this huge loan out of the bank to get started. Not the case here. So, but yeah, just I'm just encouraging you guys that who want to be in this industry. Um, it's very lucrative. You could make some really good money. Um, you can advance or upgrade your equipment as you go. And the more equipment you have, the better equipment you have, um, the more competitive you're going to be. Um, we went from, I went from a 2800 PSI pressure washer doing little neighborhood driveways to big hot water commercial pressure washers cleaning high schools, Amazon buildings. You know, it just takes time to build, but you'll get there eventually. Um, but yeah, make sure you have that passion. You, you can work on the skill set and the marketing, but those are the three components to having a business. And if you have a fear, it's okay. It's okay to step out of that fear and to take a risk, especially in the pressure washing world, because uh, you can make it work. All you have to do is just know how to work hard and to take care of people and treat your customers right, and the rest will take care of itself. Um, I've helped probably eight people start power, start their own business in pressure washing, and they're all successful. I gave them all the same advice. So comment below. Um, say what you need to say. Ask any questions, and I'd love to help them. This channel is for you. If you disagree with any, anything I say, that's fine. Um, so, But I'm going to um, compile a, a list of topics to discuss to really get in the weeds uh, of pressure washing. Um, it's, it's, there's a lot more to it than showing up to a house and just pressure washing a driveway. If you want to be competitive, you got to have a skill set. you got to know how to do certain things. And it's all about being efficient and knowing what tools to use and when. And just, uh, yeah, there's a skill set that has to be put into place to be competitive. There's certain, certain machines, certain tools, certain accessories you need. And... Um, we're going to learn how to prospect. We're going to learn how about marketing, accounting, licensing, um, everything you need to be successful in not only owning a business, but in the power washing industry. But yeah, there's more to come. Comment below. Appreciate y'all.